humans are pushing our limit, taking more than we need and taking all we want. Many animals are dying because of our actions. One of those many animals is the tiger. They've declined nearly 80% in the last two centuries. In 1921, they had around 1 million, now around one third of that number. The human population in India, one of the human countries containing tigers, used to be 200 million, and now it is around 1.1 billion. As the human population around their habitat grows, the less there are of these majestic creatures. Is it too late to save the last 3,200 remaining tigers? And if it is too late, what happens if they disappear? All of the many reasons that tigers are disappearing are the humans' fault. One of those reasons is that people are taking away all their forests and habitat that they call home. The humans around their territory hunt the exact same prey as tigers do, and all the prey would have nowhere to live, so, so of course they would die. The humans find it easier to find prey with no trees for the prey to hide. The humans also scare away the prey that they do not hunt. That leaves the tiger hungry, hungry enough to even attack the ca cattle that humans own. The humans that live there get mad at the tiger for attacking their cattle. They attack the tigers and kill them. Also, another reason that is tigers are getting illegally hunted are for their lovely fur coats. Because of the increasing demand of tiger fur and body parts, tigers are being poached and sold on the black market. One of the biggest effects of the death of tigers has, has on the environment is the food chain. The deer, boar, hare, and monkey that the tigers eat will multiply. Eventually, the deer would eat too much of the plants. Monkeys would eat all the fruits and plants on the trees, and the boar would eat all the plants and grass, and they would destroy the forest. Many organizations are trying to put a stop to poaching and habitat loss. WWF is trying to stop tiger trade and strengthen anti-poaching efforts. They even have allowed humans to adopt tigers. They also are protecting tigers' habitat and home. They are not the only ones. Organizations Organizations such as the Greenpeace are also involved in helping protect habitat. Laws are passed up about no poaching. Natural reserves are being put up as well. Tigers can still have a chance if we give the people who are trying to do something support. Help and try to do your part to help the world.